Yo guys, sorry you already know today, we're back playing some more Master Detective Archive Rain Code. Uh, we are doing a bunch of side quests today. On the last time, we spoke to a fortune teller and then our fortunes mysteriously uh, came true, like immediately. So I'm a little suspicious. Yuma does not seem to be as suspicious. Um, so we are going to go around uh, talking to these exclamation marks to, I don't know, figure out this whole thing. What is, what is this? Why is this like a thing to investigate the drainage pipe? I didn't realize when we were boy, things are really bad here. Right. Better keep away, Master. You wouldn't want to get crushed by falling debris. Sure wouldn't. Alright. Let's go ahead with the side quest. Damn that bastard. I'll never forget this. Read the future, my ass. Hmm. Seems really mad at the fortune teller. Uh, maybe he knows something. Let's ask him. Excuse me. Uh, could I ask you a couple questions? Uh, who the hell are you? Uh... I'm currently investigating that fortune teller. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, you friends with that rat? No, I'm not. I thought it all seemed suspicious, so I'm conducting an investigation. Ah, okay. So Yuma is suspicious about it. Suspicious ain't the right word. It's fraud. Those are the same prices for fortunes that don't even come true. My girlfriend handed over uh, her life savings. Ooh, but that fortune teller didn't even charge us money. Yet. I'm sure I'm sure the whole scam is, you know, you make sure that your fortunes come true, then you come back, and then he charges for the second one, but the first one's free. Oh, no. That's terrible. You said it. If I ever get my hands on him, <sighs> seems those fortunes are causing uh, some people real harm. Yeah, that's uh, kind of how that works, because, you know, fortune telling is not real, though, you know, is what it is. Uh, boom. At least that's what I believe. Uh, what should I do tomorrow? I guess I'll have my fortune read again. Yeah. Oh, gosh. See, she knows the fortune teller. Let's hear what she has to say. Uh... Excuse me, do you have a minute? I'd like to hear more about that fortune teller. Uh, oh, I don't mind, but what do you want to know? I don't have a problem. You have a problem. This is truly... Uh, are fortunes really that accurate? Of course, but it's not about accuracy. That fortune teller can actually see the future. I go in for a reading any time I can't make up my mind about something. That's how much I trust in it. I see. Mm, that's uh, probably not a good thing to, <laughs> you know, do. Uh, are you skeptical? You'll face divine punishment if you're not careful. I mean, I have no problem with fortune telling, but like, if that's if you're like, you know, living your life completely based on what a fortune teller is telling you to do, it's probably not, not the best. No. Uh, thanks for speaking with me, if you'll excuse me. Alright then. Let's, uh, go over this side. This map is still, like, not my favorite to read just because of how the upper and lower is, like, split like that, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Somebody right here. Oh gosh, you definitely look like you're in distress. Oh, what should I do? I should have never believed that fortune. Maybe. Should talk about the fortune teller? Let's listen to what she has to say. Uh... Excuse me, something wrong. Yeah, the other day I went to a supposedly reliable fortune teller and had my fortune read. I invested in stocks that he told me to, but the price keeps dropping and now I'm barely scraping by. It was all a scam. How could I fall for something like this? I knew it. People's fortunes don't come true then. Make sure to not just blindly believe in fortunes. Don't make the same, same mistake I did. Yes. Right, I'll be careful. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, and then I think there's only one more to go talk to and then we'll probably have to go confront the fortune teller straight up. You right here. Man on a hot streak. I'm so glad I listened to that fortune teller. Yeah. Now right, let's hear what this person has to say. Um, Excuse me, could you tell me more about that fortune teller? Mm, have you met him too? Amazing, right? What I wear, what I eat, where I work, I do exactly as it says my luck never runs out. I win the lottery. I win at gambling. And according to my fortune, soon I'll be my future wife. I see. Mm, that's 96% accuracy, accuracy for you. Ooh, fortune teller, you can actually see the future. Thank you very much. Uh, you've been very helpful. If you're ever feeling lost, try following your fortune. I don't know if I will. Alright, so we have like two two positives, two like negatives. Well, which is not 96%. That's actually 50%. So uh, we'll see. Some people were late to have the fortunes come true while others were angry over being tricked. Besides, Not like I expect fortunes to be 100% accurate, but some of those misses are causing a lot of pain. Let's go talk to the fortune teller again. And expose him for the fraud that he is. Because a lot of the fortunes that are coming true are probably, you know, being, being done... Uh, by him. Oh gosh, there's like no way to get over there except for to go the long way around. That's annoying. Oh well. I guess that's what happens when the city gets destroyed like that. Causes a minor inconvenience for me, which is the worst type of uh, inconvenience that you could cause me. I mean, who cares about all the people that work and live in this place? <laughs> Screw them. I only care about my... Oh, hello. About my feelings. Isn't that... yeah. Oh, it's a girl who confessed her feelings to you. What does that mean? Looks like they're discussing something. 
I already found a new mark. How'd it go? It was a piece of cake. Guys, looking number two. Easy. I'm sure he's head over heels for me by now. He'll probably come to have his fortune read soon. He's a wall of my end, too. He was so funny, uh, running around all panicked. I see Dougie, too. Uh, here's your reward. Pleasure doing business with you. I wasn't sure about conning people like this at first, but I never imagined it would be this easy. Maybe I'll again next time you find a mark. No way. Did you hear that? Hmm. These guys are way beyond your back alley show gamer three card Monty. I will expose the truth. We can't let this go. We've got to confront him. Let's do it. All right, we know that you're a fraud now. I mean, I, I basically could have told you that from the start, but now I know, no. Fortune teller. You, you're the culprit. We should both be like pointing our fingers at him. Oh, it's so you well did my predictions come true. Yes. Uh, they did, thank you. If you don't mind, I like that my fortune read again. Uh, very well this time, however, it won't be free. I need compensation. Well. In that case, can I pay you with information? Information, you say? Yeah. Yeah, information about you planning people to help sell your phony predictions. <laughs> How dare you? I won't stand for this nonsense. I don't think so. It's not nonsense. You're hiring people to play pretend. The girl who Professor Love and the guy that gave me money were both shills, right? Uh, once people start believing your fortunes, you charge uh, exorbitant rates. Yep. This is the truth. Oh, you didn't quite point at him, but you got close. Who could have predicted the, that I'd be found out by someone like you? I'm gonna be a subpar trainee, but don't underestimate my master. Yeah. I haven't reported this to the peacekeepers yet. If you don't want to face them, then... Then? Well. Return all the money you scammed from those people. If you do that, I won't report you. I understand. Alright. Not long after that, I heard that the entire fake fortune telling ring was arrested by the peacekeepers. Oh, wow. One of the victims probably blew the whistle. Huh. Remind me how something uh, sounding too good to be true is exactly that. Yep, for the most part. Alright. Well, we got that. Uh, let's look for... Oh, I can't take a bus out of here. That makes sense. So, let's walk out of here, and then... Uh, we will... Uh, do the other... I think there's either two or three other side requests that we have to do. Uh, so I'll do that. I do think that we have a gumshoe gab or two to view. Uh, so that is the plan. And then, if there's any time to then go with Makoto to the secret lab, we will start doing that. Uh, but something tells me that I will probably not have enough time to do that on this episode. But I like just getting all the side requests done and out of the way. And just doing all the side stuff, you know, in in one big, like, batch. Uh, Akira the Robot Researcher. Okay. I'm sure once we get to the lab, we're going to learn a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, I don't, I don't like doing, like, the main quest and then having to take myself away from it to do like side stuff. I, I like all the, the main stuff being like back to back to back. That way, especially when, you know, you start learning important information that you need to know. All right, so there's one at the church. We have to go to Gimma District to, for a quest that we are already uh, doing. And then there's one at the clock tower. So, but we can go right to the church and go ahead and collect this. I wonder if we're gonna have to go hear people out again or if it's gonna be something completely different. I have no idea. A drone car that will automatically deliver you from departure to tomorrow. A mo what was that? A monitor fortune or something? That was a that was a, a weird name. It didn't quite roll off the tongue the same way that like Amaterasu does. Is it the nun? It sure is. Yeah. Came right on time. Huh? Right on time. What is it? You. Remember the last time you went and counseled people? Yes. Yeah, I thought they were all satisfied. Yeah. That's not enough. That just isn't enough. Not enough to replace the priest, that is. Oh, no. What are you saying? It's not like I'm a pro or anything. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, so what you're saying is you'll do even better next time, correct? No way. You don't mean... Yeah. Time to give out advice better than before, right? Fine. All right. This time it's not my fault, no matter what happens. Huh? Fine, but be prepared for the consequences if you mess up. Now get going. I just said it's not my fault. <laughs> I, I'm not going to deal with any consequences. I'm just going to run away from them. Got to be kidding. All right. Don't think there's anyone here that we need to counsel. Uh, looks like... What, we have to go to Kanai Tower to counsel somebody? Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead to the Clock Tower pick up this request. And then we will start completing these requests. Cool stuff. 
Oh, I think the uh, the one in Ginma District is because we got the, the thing for Fubuki. Hopefully that's actually... If that is the thing, then that quest should be basically over. But if we go back and the guy's like, that's not good enough, you need something else, uh, then it could continue. Who knows? Let's go right here. Oh, hello, it's you. Huh? Is that Aruka? It sure is. Um... Oh, it's you. Hey. I'm sorry. Huh? What are you doing? Chachi is dead. Akari and Sivan betrayed the resistance. We caused so much trouble for you. That's right, Master was almost captured because of you. Apologize harder. No. Well, it's certainly tough, but it's nothing you need to apologize for. What about you, Aruka? How are you doing? Did the peacekeepers not come after you? Yes. Don't worry about them. They won't catch me that easily. But now that the resistance is in shambles, I'm at a loss. <sighs> I don't know where to go from here. Aruka mm -hmm. seems really depressed. I was going to cheer her up somehow. Uh, let's encourage her. Yeah. It'll be all right. I'm sure your allies will come back soon. <sighs> Even if they do, Shachi isn't here anymore. There's no one keeping us together. Uh... What if you became the leader? <laughs> no, I don't know what to say. Only there was someone here who knew Aruka well. Like Margalaw, maybe? All right, so this connects back to Ginma District, right? Let's see. It does. Because then I can just take this, go across the street, and uh, turn in the, the Fubuki thing. I'm assuming... I'm assuming Margalaw is the one that we have to find. Probably just go back to his shop. Talk to him about Aruka. See what we can do to cheer Aruka up. Yada yada yada. All that good stuff. Uh, yep. Uh, I don't care about the agency. They can wait. I'm doing way more important stuff. Like giving this guy that's obsessed with Fubuki an item. <laughs> that's... Well, This is what Fubuki was looking for, right? It can't be. I admit defeat. She didn't indeed say she wanted Orikakum in order to forge the Sword of Legend. But I couldn't find it for her. You're now a member of the club. No, you should be the leader. Huh? I never played on becoming either. Um... Anyway, you can have this if you want. Are you sure? Yes. I don't need it. But besides, uh, I have an idea of what Fubuki would say. I'm sure. No true hero would turn their back on the sword of legend. What is that? A confession of love? No. No, I don't think so. There's no time to lose. I must forge the sword of legend and become a hero. Oh gosh, what have we done? Hey. That was a guy who's living life to the fullest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's funny. All right. Well, uh, we set him off on a quest, and hopefully, hopefully Fubuki does not get too mad at us. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the the shorter way. I'm pretty sure Kanai Tower is a little like right next to us, but I'm taking the bus because taking the bus is cooler. It's what the, all the cool kids are doing. Okay. Don't judge me. That's the security. All right, that wasn't a long loading screen. Oh, you're hiding. You're hiding behind this pole. Say or not say, that is the question. Excuse me, is something on your mind? Yes, but who are you? Uh, the nun in the church asked me to go around and listen to everyone's troubles. If you'd like, maybe I can offer some advice. I see, that would be great, actually. I'll get straight to the point. I'm in love. See. Love, huh? I'm definitely an expert at, an expert at love. Yes, those graceful hands and feet. Those wavy locks. Those eyes of ennui and porcelain skin. What? It was love at first sight. It was over for me at the moment I saw him. I see. I see. I can picture him now under the piano. Just think about it makes my heart ache. Vivia? Vivia? Hmm? Under the piano? Do you mean the piano at the hotel over in the Kamasaki district? Okay, okay. Hold up. Let's set them up. That's the one. You're my rival for his affection? No. No, nothing like that. I know Vivia because we work together. Vivia, so that's his name. So lovely and ephemeral. Quite fitting. Mm. This guy really seems to like Vivia. I'd like to help him, but... Said you're a colleague of Vivia, right? Uh, then you must know what kind of things he likes. He likes books? I want to tell him how I feel and give him a present. Naturally, it should be something he'd like. I see. Let's see. Uh, a fireplace. Well, he does. He does like fireplaces, but it's probably easier to give a book. I think Vivian would be happy to receive a book as a present. A 
Puck, that'd be perfect for him. I can get him omelet. No, Muskbeth might be better. Oh gosh. All right, all right. I see what you're doing, game. Uh, you've been a great help. I'll get my present ready to go. Tell him how I feel. No. No problem. I hope things go well. Uh, these sorts of things are never easy, but I won't give up. Thanks again. Yo, good luck. Good luck, my man. Hoping for the best for you. Um, let's go. All right, we're probably gonna have to to give advice at the academy. I better see like the end credits, Vivia and 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 his new boyfriend, worried man. <laughs> That's all I want now. Now I'm probably gonna have to go give advice to some random schoolgirl. She's gonna be like, mm, math class is hard. What do I do? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's you. You're not a schoolgirl. Woman who hates being hit on. All right. <laughs> what a mess. Uh, something's worrying you. I'd be happy to listen. What did Desuhiko do now? You're oh, you're from the church. Uh, Wait, how did you, you know that? Yeah, that's me. I guess I don't need to explain why uh, I'm doing this anymore. Uh, so what's worrying you? Well, there's this guy who's been hitting on me nonstop lately. Uh, I've turned him down multiple times, but he just can't take the hint. It's stressing me out. Uh, have you tried stabbing him? <laughs> I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Can you give me a description of the person? Sure, he was on the shorter side, but chock full of confidence. Yep. That sounds kind of familiar. He was also carrying this huge backpack. He might not be so bad if he wasn't looking that thing around. I knew it. You must be talking about Desuiko. Come on. Sure, the detective was hitting on girls instead of investigating. No mercy for slackers. What do you think I should do? Like, literally just throw him into a volcano, honestly. Like, sure. let's see. Uh, I, I will do something about it. Um. Leave it to me. To you, what do you intend to do? I am going to, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't entirely know what I'm going to do, but we're, I'm, I'm going to figure something out. Uh, bit awkward to admit, but the person hitting on you is so, someone I work with. Huh? That's why. I'll tell him to stop bothering you. See, thank you. Um, good luck. Yeah, and if he doesn't listen, I'm literally calling the police. He can get, you know, locked up by the peacekeepers for all I care. No. It's nothing. I'm sorry you've, you've had to deal with this. <sighs> Looks like I managed to solve a problem. In exchange, you've given yourself a brand new one. I sure did, uh, but this woman does not d does not deserve needing or having to deal with uh with uh with Desuhiko at all. I'm gonna go to Kamasaki District and see what's over here. I think this one's gonna be related to the Aruka quest, so I'd like to do that before we go back to the clock tower, and then hopefully I can console somebody, give advice, as well as do whatever to Aruka, I guess. We'll see if it works out that way or not. It might not. Uh, oh, no, wow. Literally right here. That's awesome. Love that. What is this, an antique shop? Oh, this is, this is, uh, Margola shop. I didn't know it was in Kamasaki district. I don't know why I thought it was somewhere else. Uh, it's been a while, Margola. How have you been? Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, there's something I'd like your help with. Oh, great. Something troublesome again? In that case, I'll pass. No. It's about Aruka. Oh. And that's what happened. I ran into her just now. She seems really depressed about everything from before. I want to help her out. Do you have any idea how to cheer her up? Mm. Uh, something does come to mind, but before I tell you, I have a request. Oh. Probably just give her a gun or something. You have a request or let her oh. shoot you. Aruka isn't the only one with problems, you know? I want you to deliver this to a certain man. Uh, What's inside? Well. You really need to know? Maybe. No, I suppose not, but I don't want to be fooled again. Mm. Uh, no doubt. That's a fair point. Go ahead and open it. It's just food. Yeah. Yep, it's food, just like you said. But what if it's a bomb? And we have to, uh, you know, defuse it again. Who do I live with this yeah. to? It should be at a small room in Doi District, the same one you were locked in before. I see. That room. It should be at the far end of Doi District. Hmm. Do that for me, and I'll tell you how to help Aruka. Yes. Understood. The small room in Doi District. Okay. Well, let's uh. Go there, I guess. I I'm not I'm not ending this episode until I have done all of the requests, or unless I don't know, like 45 minutes go by. So this might end up being one of the longer episodes, but I I refuse to just have side quests take a take a, a span of like two to three episodes in a row. That is not my intention. Uh, I I do need to figure out where. 
Can I look at the... I want to look at the, the, the local map here. So, okay, so we need to go to... This is the Mysterious Hut. So it's over here. Okay. So that, okay, so Mysterious Hut is down this way. Perfect. Uh, how do we get there? I don't think we can get there from this side. I think we have to go the whole way up and around. Yeah, we sure do. We sure do. All right. That's fine, I guess. We'll just go up and around. Beekeepers are just marching everywhere. Good thing they're not after us anymore. I literally just walked through one. Okay, so up here. Oh, there's the uh, there's the the memory shard. Can I get to it right now? I don't know. Can I squeeze here? No. Can I go around? Mm, also, yes, 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 yes. Let's go. All right. We do have that available to us. That's really good. Okay, but the man that we're deliver delivering food to is in here. Cool stuff. Atrocity Lab. Think the Slaughter Artist. Love that still. Hello? What's going on? I'm sorry you got the blame for that terrorist attack. Thank you. The resistance is in total disarray right now. Shachi's dead and Akari. We have no choice but to continue living our lives here. That sucks. Uh, wait, how do I, how do I, oh, here we go. I was like, where do I get to, here we go. Oh, the man. The man I'm delivering food to. Devon? She's not so loud. What if someone found me? I have something you from Margala. Thanks, this helps a lot. Um, what are you doing here, Savan? Weren't you captured by the peacekeepers? Yeah. Well, you see, I was taken away by that peacekeeper uh, Guillaume along with Ikari's body. I managed to flee during the commotion from when Director Yomi appeared. Mm. I'm not really sure what happened, but Yomi was really pissed off. He took it out on Guillaume and the others. Right. It's because Makoto stopped him? It was a perfect opportunity for me to make my escape. I see. And then you asked Margala to help you hide? Yeah. Yeah, without him, I probably would have collapsed somewhere and gotten captured again. Then? Could you tell him how thankful I am? Yeah. Sure, no problem. All right, so we're going back to... Whoops. Going back to Kamasaki District, right into the shop. And hopefully he will help us do something about Aruka. Probably going to send us on a quest to maybe get her a present or a gift or something. That's where I see this going. And then give it to Aruka, and that might wrap it up. And then... I think the last time that I did advice from the church, it was three different people? So this would be person number three around the clock tower. So that might wrap that one up as well. All right, all right. Look at all right. If I can get these done in the next, like, ten minutes, I will watch one gumshoe gab before any of the episode. I delivered the package. He told me he appreciates everything you've done for him. Yeah. I see you. Thanks for doing that. Why did you decide to help him out, Margolo? Even though he was being threatened, he did betray the resistance. No. Right. When he first came to me, I considered handing him over to the peacekeepers. But well, the members of the resistance were like my second family. And when it comes down to it, Amaterasu is the true villain in all this. They're the ones to blame. I see. Good call. Yeah. Sorry for the strange request. Uh, take this and give it to Aruka. Oh, I don't even need to go get it. A gun? No. It's just a model gun. You can't really harm anybody. Shachi entrusted it to me. He told me to give it to Aruka if something happened to him. I see. That's a present from Shachi to Aruka. Yeah, I think she'll like that. There's nothing suspicious about a cap gun sitting around in a shop like this, after all. Yeah. Give it to her along with these words. This is not a real gun. It's a fake and capable of taking a life. There's meaning in that. It's a message from Shachi. Yeah. Understood. I'll make sure to give this to Aruka. All right. Hmm. I thought about selling it, but I suppose we're both creatures of habit, aren't we, Shachi? Good thing you didn't. All right. To the clock tower we go. We shall give this gun to Aruka. As well as give out some advice. Actually, I've kind of... I've liked this sort of string of uh, advice. Actually, all of the side quests right now. But I, I've liked the string of giving out advice this time as well. 
I don't even remember the ones from last time, but I'm sure they were fine as well. I'm just gonna, you know, really enjoy my time. I kind of enjoy just like going around the city, just doing random stuff here. I don't know. It's like relaxing. Hey. Uh, what is it, you mate? You need me for something? For now. Yes, I need you to take this. <laughs> Holds a gun to her head. Um, a gun? And that's what happened. It's a present from Shachi. He left it with Margalov for safekeeping. No way. From Shachi? Besides. I also wanted to tell you this. This is not a real gun. It's a fake. Incapable of taking a life. There's meaning in that. And that's what happened. Those words were part of Shachi's gift to you. Shachi. Yes. I understand. He may be gone, but I'll keep moving forward. A gun? You there? What are you doing with that? Um. Uh, we better run, Yuma. Yes. Right. <laughs> I'm actually going in the direction of that peacekeeper. But I guess uh, me and Aruka are going somewhere else to finish a conversation. Latest products. Oh yeah, there's the Aminotorafoon. That's not. That does not run off the uh, roll off the tongue very nicely. Forensic forte. Crime isn't bad until it is. <sighs> Looks like we got away. Yes. Yeah, I don't think we were followed. You have Thank you, Yuma. I found a path forward because of you. Even if Shachi is no longer with us, I'll keep the resistance alive. <laughs> I'll use this gun to help create the world Shachi envisioned. Yeah. As Ruga spoke those words, a smile crept across her face. Alright. I wonder if that's supposed to sort of wrap up the, the sort of resistance's, you know story i guess all right well now i have to go back to the clock tower i should have given out advice first because i know after i give advice i'm gonna have to go back to the church assuming i don't have another place to go give advice at who knows wait we had a side request involving fubuki and one involving desuiko i guess Hilara just doesn't really get involved in other people's business but i feel like there should be a random side request that has something to do with Hilara as well i think that'd be neat yeah because we also had one for for vivia as well it's a bench. Well, Do we need a break during walks and exercise. Yeah, why not? You don't want to sit on the bench and just look at the clock tower. Like it's so pretty. Uh, what do I do? Um, if you're worried about something, I could lend an ear. Eek, who are you? And that's what happens. Don't ask me to go around and listen to everyone's troubles. Then can I ask you to listen to my problem? I work in a cafe, but I just can't seem to interact well with the customers. As soon as I'm in front of someone, I get so nervous that my words won't come out. I see. Mm, sort of like what's happening now. I want to be able to talk to people with ease, uh, just like she did. Hmm? She? She was only only there for a day, but she was so beautiful and sociable. Fubuki? This is Fubuki again? Maybe. She'd be talking about Fubuki. When I asked her for advice, she told me that I had to defeat the evil gods. I knew it. Definitely Fubuki. But I don't even know what evil gods are. How is it uh, related to serving customers? What should I do? Uh... Well. Um... Let's search for the evil gods together. Yes. Mom, do they really exist? I'm sorry. I actually don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be more like a metaphor. Right, you startled me. But uh, talking with you helped me feel a little better, I think. <sighs> Maybe I should think a bit longer before giving advice. Yeah. That should be enough for now. Let's head back to the nun. All right, so that wasn't the best answer, but like, uh, the way I read it was just like, oh, Fubuki probably means like, you know, like, I don't know, overcome your your the, the evil gods being like the thing that's preventing you from like interacting with people normally and so if you like defeat the you know sort of like your inner demons even though it's not exactly the same thing but like defeating them to to be able to to talk better i thought that might be like some sort of correlation but who knows Fubuki was probably being very literal and then when i said it the, uh, the woman also took it very literal which is not how i thought i was going to come across but hey it is what it is hello oh What's this? Who's out with a nun? Hey. In other words, it ain't your fault. If you keep whining like this. I'll kill your ass in the name of God. Oh gosh, is this you giving advice? Who? Um, what was that just now? Huh? Whoa, back already? People's a bad habit, you know? You're literally in a public place out in front. You're not even like anywhere private. So Can't just force all the work on you, can I? So I also tried listening to some folks. That's great. That person uh, just now looked really happy. Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> I see the relief on his face. Like all his worries had evaporated. He kept thanking you over and over. I'm sure. I think he was happy to have someone so friendly and approachable to talk with him. I knew it. You're kind of foul mouth for a nun, but you're also incredibly kind. Don't make me kill Shut up. Her. I'm busy now. Later. 
Huh. Oh. Her face went bright red and she ran off. Yeah. As long as she's around, I think the church will be just fine. She's compassionate and the locals really trust her. That's great. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we were able to help out. We sure were. Nice. All right, all the side quests are done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch one of these gumshoe gaps because we have one with Halara, one with Fubuki, and one with Vivia. Uh, Fubuki we've only had one, so I'm going to go ahead and do hers now. I'm going to save the other two for later. Maybe we'll get one next episode. Who knows? Want to kind of spread them out here and there. Laura attacks with a one shen coin, where it lands is carefully calculated for later retrieval. <laughs> oh, classic Halara. Oh, we're like out here. I think all the other ones have been like inside the agency. Thank you kindly for keeping me company today. Because of you, Yuma, I have experienced takoyaki for the very first time. Oh, it's nothing. I'm surprised you wanted to try some in the first place. Oh? Why is that surprising? Yeah, anyway. Could it be that my face resembles takoyaki? So you believe I am a cannibal? Uh, yes, that's the reason. That's not at all what I'm saying. You don't look anything like takoyaki anyway. It's just that you grew up like a princess. You even got kidnapped because of it. That's why I didn't expect you to want to try takoyaki. Ah, so that is what you meant. But I am not as high class as you might think. My daily life is rather ordinary. Also, like, even if you were high class, would you not want to, like, you know, eventually explore and be like, oh, I wonder what, like, some of, you know, the, the lower or middle class or, like, you know, cheaper options are, you know? Like, even if you're stuck in that, you, you probably want to get out and explore, especially Fubuki as somebody who's, like, wants to go on an adventure. I sincerely doubt it. Is that so? It truly felt plain to my eyes. Well then, can I ask you a few questions? It helped me get an idea of what it was like for you growing up. Very well. If that is what is required to satisfy you, you can ask me anything, including my measurements or the password to my bank account. The password to your bank account, huh? Okay. No, I don't need to ask about those. Anyway, to start off, how many rooms did your home have? How many rooms? It's going to be so many. I really considered it. Playing the over under at like 30. Um, first the kitchens. Uh, <laughs> Alright, maybe, maybe we're going over. Three, it's definitely over 30. Four, five. Uh, I am beginning to grow confused. My apologies. I am not very good at counting such large numbers. No, that's more than enough for me. There's really no point in asking any more questions. But this is getting kind of fun. Uh, next up, what sort of car did your parents own? Did they even have a car? I was gonna say, did they even have a car? There were no cars at our home. They probably just like hired like limos to drive them everywhere or whatever. Huh? That's hard to believe. Do you know what cars are? They have. <laughs> roads, yes, I have seen them around the city. But none of those tiny, cute mobile huts were anywhere near my home. Mobile huts? I'm guessing the cars at Fubuki's place are on a completely different scale. Okay, last one. What's the most expensive gift you've ever received? Oh, gosh. Well, I am unsure how expensive it was, but the one that made me happiest was when I went with my family to look at the stars. Aw, that's priceless. Huh? Stars? On my birthday, my father told me a star would shine especially bright. I watched it with my mother and father. That time spent together was the greatest gift I have ever received. That's so wholesome. My parents are such busy people. I rarely saw them as a child. <sighs> oh? Is something wrong? <laughs> yeah, you wanted a funny answer of something that's like three billion dollars and instead you got like a wholesome moment now you feel kind of bad after asking so many petty questions i feel real ashamed of myself yep even if you are rich you're still you i am myself that is true i suppose but yuma what sort of person do you think i am what do i think of fubuki well that's simple what do i think 
Is he rich, honest? Uh, I mean, she's a pretty honest person. She, she's not like, yeah, yeah. You're honest. You may be rich and ditzy, among other things, but the foundation of who you are is your honesty. <laughs> well, I am not sure I would say I am honest myself, but it makes me happy to hear you say it. I can't think of a time that you were dishonest. You're honest. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said the time spent stargazing with your parents was your favorite gift. Oh, that reminds me. After we looked at the star, <laughs> the star. Huh? <laughs> I'm not sure how expensive that may have been, but I am certain that is the biggest gift I have ever received. So Fubuki owns a star in the sky. Nice. <laughs> Considering how honestly surprised I am by all this, I must have been a lowly commoner before losing my memories. <laughs> Master, you and Fubuki seem to have grown even closer. That was a nice little conversation. I like that. But that is where we are going to end up wrapping it up. So as soon as I'm given the chance to stop at the pause menu, because sometimes the loading screens are like three seconds, sometimes they're like 30 seconds. So, you know... But we're going to go ahead and wrap this off. Uh, so wrap this off, wrap this up. I don't know, whatever. Um, next time we are going to meet with uh, with Makoto and start going to the secret lab and uh, start doing, you know, chapter four shenanigans. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you all are as well. If so, let me know. But I will see you on the next time. So till then, peace out.